Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm here just checking into the energies, right? Seeing what's going on um, around you, behind the scenes. This reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you, right? You guys know this, you know this. So just take what does resonate, leave the rest, and just don't try to force anything, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, um, everybody who's joined this this soul tribe, this family. Thank you so much. And everybody new here, welcome. I'm Becca. All right, so Divine, what do you have for my collective today? Messages for the collective. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to let go. I feel like a fool. Yeah, that's what I just heard. I don't want to let go. I feel like a fool. Yeah, um, they're seeing things from a whole new perspective now. Okay, yeah, their tune has changed, collective. All right. Um, could be something that you said to them that they can't seem to forget about. I don't know. You could um, you could be a high priestess here, somebody who's extremely intuitive, or or you're not talking to them now. So it's either something that you called out that you um, that you knew was going to happen to them, or I feel like it's more like you're not speaking. The high priestess is very silent, very still. You're not talking to this person, and they can't take it anymore. I feel like that's what this is. You're not talking to them. They can't take it anymore. They could be asking other people about you. Um, maybe even saying, hey, can you give the collective a message for me, right? And then they wait because they're too, they wait for, they're waiting for you to say something, talk, say something, right? Because they don't want to. They're scared, but um, they can't wait anymore. I feel like they just can't take it. Yeah, I feel like it's your silence. It's your silence. Yeah, they know they've got to come forward and apologize here. But you may look the other direction. You may be like, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. Yep. You're focused on new, new. Okay. Um, the wheel of fortune is turning here. I feel like something's about to happen. Something's about to change for this queen of wands. And I feel like it's this, this apology, this person's about, yep, they're about to come towards you here. They're about to come towards you, uh, telling you that they want to reunite. It's just time. It's time for this person to come in and, and make things right. It's time to give you this apology. This apology, I feel like, is what everybody has been waiting for this person to do, is get the strength, right, to come and confront this. Because you're not going to talk. I feel like this person wronged you. They could have treated you like a third party, another option. Okay? And I feel like you're just not speaking. You're like, I'm, mm -mm. I'm not going to make the first approach when they did me dirty. Uh-uh. And this person knows it. So, it, you know, they know they've got to come forward and apologize if they're going to have any chance with you at all. Um, and I see you out here just being comfortable with yourself, looking forward to happier days. I feel like you may be very enthusiastic right now because um, you really are sort of looking into your future right now. Okay? Yeah, this person, I feel like they betrayed you. You gave this person love and they betrayed you. Or they could be with somebody else here. Oh, collective. I got this in another reading earlier. That is so weird. So this could be an extension off of the last reading that I did um, on YouTube, okay? This person, they could be with a Queen of Swords energy um, who also knows that they're in love with you, that they, you know, this is driving them crazy, that, they're, that you're not speaking to them, okay? They know about you. Um, I feel like this person used you, put you in this third party, chose this Queen of Swords. They could have a home situation right now, man. It is it is a mess because this person wants to come towards you. I feel like this is what they were trying to avoid. 
they were trying to avoid them, you know, approaching you because they knew it would start a lot of chaos here in the background with whoever they chose instead of you. And I feel like it is. They're, they're doing nothing but fighting in the background, okay? Fighting with each other. I feel like they're fighting about you. Maybe it is, Maybe it's both. Something that you're putting out um, intuitively, like you, you can see these things happening because I still see you peeking over everything. Like I already knew this was going to happen, right? Um, I feel like you maybe called this out. Something about the messages that you're putting out there maybe or the things that you may know. The intimidation off of this person. Look at how they're looking at this high priestess. <laughs> oh, they're intimidated by your energy because I feel like you're very intuitive. You're spot on and you knew this was going to happen. You knew this was, this is like um, a lot of fighting. This is a big, massive fight here between two different people. A queen of swords and a knight of swords. And that is coming down. I feel like because your person, they, they want you. I, and everything is closing up now. I'm feeling breakups out here. Okay? I'm feeling a lot of breakups. Um, a lot of fighting going on behind the scenes. I feel like collective, you're just looking into, you're just planning your future right now, getting excited and keeping your mouth shut when it comes to these people. I feel like you don't want, you don't have anything to really say to them. Yeah, you could be a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like this is your energy, right? Just um, focusing on you and what's in your cup. You know that, um, yeah... I'm hearing the song, You Were With Me All Along, but I don't know who sings it. And I don't know why I'm getting that song, because I don't know all the words. But I feel like, yeah, um, maybe you're just focused on your spiritual path here. You know, doing your cleansings, praying, meditating. Um, I've got the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. I feel like you're about to get communication. You could be meeting someone new as well. With this Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Pentacles, I feel like that's somebody new coming to talk to you. Um, so you could have two people, one from your past and someone new who's about to approach you and get to know you. You're, you're out here being very loving. You've been through a battle, but your heart has remained intact. Yeah, you could be moving forward to someone new. And, um, yeah, moving on, I feel like uh, you may see some kind of fight going on, you know, going off in the background here. I see you kind of looking over your shoulder at it. Maybe some of you are just kind of like, it's almost like you know these people are getting their karma. You know they're splitting up. You're kind of like looking back to see, right? There's something intuitively that you know. There's a lot of breakups going on. And this, this whatever this is that your person's in, they're, they're done. They're done with it. I feel like it's they're, they're leaving. They're moving on. This was all about passion. They may be wanting to start some, a new passionate beginning here. Yeah. Yeah. Clarify this Ace of Wands. So they're moving on. You're moving on. This person, they're leaving. They're, this, they're breaking up from this Queen of Swords. And they're wanting to come to you um, to give you an apology. Okay? Seriously, the, the silence is driving this person crazy. I feel like they're being warned here. Or you're being warned. Something's going on with this wand. What is the deal with this? Give me. Thank you. Okay, so somebody may have an STD out here as well. Could be a, a King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, uh, Virgo. Yeah, from dealing with multiple people. Yeah, this person's finding out they got an STD, you guys. Okay? Okay. So be careful. This person's approaching. Yeah, this is bad health. I didn't even really notice that part. 
Yeah, this person's realizing they've got an STD. I don't know who they picked it up from, baby. That's what this fight is about. Um, it's going down wherever this person is. It's going down in Karmic Town. I'm telling you. Because this now is like a for sure a karmic situation, I feel. Okay? Yeah. Somebody's realizing that they, they, whoever it is, somebody gave somebody an STD. I kind of get the sense that if this person has an STD, they may not even know where they got it from. Because they had other options on the side. I'm telling you, when this person rejected you, Collective... That was your protection, okay? Um, yeah. I feel like somebody got an STD messing with the wrong person here. Boy, are they in a lot of regret. I feel like this is something that can't be healed. So this is something that they're going to have forever. feel like this person is just angry. Um, clarify the Emperor and the Page of Swords. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Aquarius. I feel like this person, you know what? And honestly, clarify this Emperor. They could be see, like visiting a nurse or something over this or looking into this to try to find a cure. I don't think they're going to find a cure for this thing. I feel like this is like um, somebody who's giving them this information, calling them with this information, you know. Yes, it's positive. You've got an STD. And they have to look into it and research it. What can I do to try to stop this? And I don't think there's anything they can do. I feel like this is an incurable thing. Now they're in a whole lot of regret. And you're moving on um, spotless. I feel like you're clean, collective. You're clean. Yeah, look, they were a king of wands in reverse. This person was, man, they had other options. They, may, they, didn't, they didn't have any protection, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like um, this person, wow, king of wands in reverse, that's like somebody who's extremely impulsive, really doesn't care, is very reckless, very passionate, okay, um, yeah, this person had too many options here, now they're in a lot of it, look, and that's, that sealed their doom, I'm telling you, somebody here got an STD that they can't get rid of, ever, there's no cure. And they don't even I feel like they don't even know who they picked it up from. They could have passed it on to whoever they were with. That's why there's there's a lot of fighting going on. Oh, and it's like um ground shaking fights. Okay, but yeah, that's what this is. And this person wants to come and apologize to you now. You're moving on, man. You may already know this with your spidey senses collective. Yeah, and I feel like you're about to get new love, too. Let's see what the romance angels want to say. What messages do you have for the collective? Yep, they've been betrayed. Um, somebody, maybe, well, someone gave them an STD. Okay. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Look, they had no romantic feelings. This, cause this is coming out in reverse. They had no romantic feelings for these people. They just wanted passion. And that's what they got. I feel like, you know what, Collective? You're going to, you know what? You're going to get new love here. I feel like this person, too, they're very flirtatious. I kind of get the sense that they just chase anything new. They keep, they keep um, sharing passion with new people all the time. Okay. The more I dig into this, the more I don't like this person's energy. They are feeling like a fool, though. I feel like um, they want to reconcile, but you know what? You're working on your finances, your abundance, your stability. You're focused on yourself. You don't need anyone in the energy that you're in. 
um, and you certainly don't need an STD. I feel like you're freeing yourself from this. You're freeing yourself from this connection. You're done. You're done. And so is this person, quite honestly, okay? Feel like they may even, yeah, I feel like you're done. Retreat, yeah. <laughs> I feel you're about to get a new, you're attracting a new soulmate connection here who's also a past life soulmate, okay? So, um, yeah, you are about to get somebody new anyway. You're releasing this, this connection here from your past and um, you're attracting somebody new. You're going to recognize this new person at a soul level. It's going to be very passionate, okay? Yes. So, you know, get ready for that collective. You're, you know what? Thank goodness you didn't remain wrapped up with this person because, you know what, they weren't wrapped up with anybody else and you're, you would have gotten a, an STD, okay? Yeah, you loved yourself first. This self-respect that you have, it's pulling in a new soulmate connection that's going to respect you, okay? Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.